Welcome back to our channel, Retired and Loving It. I'm Terry, and today I'm coming with you with another episode of Life Lessons with Terry. On my last time that I came to you on a Life Lessons with Terry, I talked to you about my trigeminal neuralgia journey. And if you haven't seen that episode, I'll link it so you can watch that before you watch this. This is an update, and I'll give you a little background. On April the 10th, in the evening, I started to have really bad pain in the side of my head. So I gave myself all night until 9 a.m. the next day to see if it got any better, and it didn't, so Keith took me to the ER. They diagnosed me with trigeminal neuralgia. I did go to a follow-up with my primary care, and I was not able to get into a neurologist until today, which is August the 3rd. So I'm gonna give you a follow-up once I get back from the neurologist. We're on our way. I really have no idea what to expect. I think she'll just talk to me today and give me the results of the MRI. I'm hoping she'll either reduce the medication or take me off altogether, but who knows? Uh, we'll just see what happens. appointment um, I have to say I'm a little bummed um, found out that I need to do an MRI with contrast because it gives more detail than just the MRI that I had and so we had to stop we, we didn't have to but we stopped to get some ice cream so I could drown my sorrows I didn't like the first MRI that I had. I guess I'm more claustrophobic than what I thought. Um, so knowing that I have to have a second um, with contrast, which means they'll have to shoot something in my arm, which I'm not thrilled about either. But So uh, she did put me through a battery of neuralgia test and that all went fine. Um, the only thing that she found that could be just something that I was born with is when I smile, my smile is a little uneven and also my left eye isn't as open as my right. Um, I've noticed that for a while, but it, like she said, it could be something that I've born with. But the MRI with contrast will tell more detail if there's anything going on. But the good news is, I have a brain. She did say, yes, you have a brain, it's proven. So, at least I know I have a brain. So, I guess there'll be another follow-up uh, after I have my MRI with contrast and get the results from that. Thank you for joining me today on my trigeminal neuralgia follow-up journey. I'll see you next time on Retired and Loving It. If you'd like to see more of our videos, click the video that just popped up on your screen.